Yo, what's up? This your boy Peanut coming at you with another reaction. And before we get into this, welcome to the Peanut Gallery, y'all. And today we'll be reacting to somebody new on the channel, Bucket Hat Splash, the coldest fighters in anime. Now we know there's a lot of cold boys and girls in anime, man. Come on now. But enough talk. Let's get into this. Oh my god, Ronnie. <laughs> Where's that demon on the screen? <laughs> man, I'm Fighting. We love seeing people get hurt. We love seeing people box. Whether the fight be with swords, a boomerang, feet, or straight hands, most people rock with a good fight. But some people, the way they fight, it does not look valid. They could be weak. They could be strong. I'm strong. But some people, the way they fight, look sheets. Like Luffy, he's my goat. We all know this. My YouTube profile picture is literally Black Luffy, and my name, Bucket Hat Splash, is named after the Straw Hat Luffy. So I rock with Luffy. But the way bro fights sometimes. <laughs> It's so trash. Like, look at the way Luffy is dodging this dude's spears. What is this? It's working, but what is this? Right. One time, this Wrong. man Luffy fought this dude named Cracker. I watched Luffy eat his way to a dub. He That's kept eating crazy. and eating until he looked just like Lizzo. And then, bro, blasted his <laughs> opponent across the map with his belly. You will never see any other anime character do that in their life. He won the fight because he is a goat, but that was not a cold way to fight. However, there are a good amount of characters in anime who look cold when they fight. The moves they use in a fight, everything that has to do with the fight they look cold i found that a lot of characters in anime that look cold when they fight use swords but not all of them some just use straight hands and feet and they look so tough but swords no swords in this video we're gonna cover people who look cold when they fight obviously they gotta be strong too because i am not putting no person who looks cold when they fight in the video but they're weak like brook you will not be in this video no, i'm joking the first fighter we're gonna talk about has to be zoro now zoro is honestly a no-brainer everyone knows zoro is cold whether you watch one one piece or not okay. almost everything he does no glazing is cold so naturally that would carry on to how he fights first off bro uses three sword style he got a sword in his left he got a sword yeah. in his right and he has a sword in his mouth you know how much jaw strength it takes to carry your whole oh, sword in wow. your mouth not even ash cash doing that but bro mm. cooks with all three swords simultaneously it's kind of tough when bro fought a squeaker named pika and dress rosa the way bro beat him with his three sword style was so immaculate bro first off to start off bro got chucked through the air at Pika, that was kind of tough. But the way bro was flying through the air while putting his hockey through all of his three swords, okay. I don't know how <laughs> fast bro was flying, strong and but you could tell by bro's face that Pika's about to get cooked, mm -hmm. and that's exactly what happened. Bro said, Try Sasa Sekai, and cut through <laughs> a damn near mountain sized Pika. Then bro bounced off a wall and cut him in half again. Woo all the girls was watching, like, Oh my gosh, Zoro! I know Pika was sick getting cooked all cold and she in front of the baddies. Then Zoro kept cutting through all that stone oh, until he crazy. found Pika's real body. Then he charged that bro in all black, still using all three swords. Look at how bro's rotating the blades. What the fuck? Then Pika wow. got sheesh. <laughs> That whole sequence was so cold, I never thought getting thrown like a football would actually look tough. That moment, <laughs> though, however, does not top how cold Zoro fought versus Killer. Bro really made yeah. getting stabbed in the chest with a scythe look cool. Normally, if I saw an anime character get stabbed in the chest, I think they're cooked. But right. it was Zoro, so I was like, he be I. And bro was I. He started smiling. He's kind of like psycho, I'm not gonna lie. He put the other dude's scythe in his mouth. Chest, That's unsanitary. Yeah. That's nasty. And then bro blitzed him at Mach 50 speed and he got cooked. The way Zoro approaches fights and does the stuff he does in the fight is just cold, bruh. He somehow right. makes holding a whole blade in his mouth not look stupid. The next person who fights looking all cold is Shinra from Fire Force. Okay. Now, Shinra is a cold fighter for two reasons. The first reason is the way bro smiles when he fights sometimes. It's actually a tick and he doesn't really mean to smile for real. But hey, it looks hard. The second <laughs> reason is because bro implements his fire powers with his fighting style so smoothly. Now, mad people in that show use fire. Like this right. dude right here, Benny Maru, he's mad strong he's actually in the anime stronger than shinra in fact he's actually a colder fighter than shinra but that has nothing to do with this fighting style he's just so overwhelmingly tough that right. anytime bro fights it's like <laughs> No glazing, but with him, you can't explain the greatness. But with Shinra, you can't explain the greatness. Now, Shinra's okay. fighting style, he mainly kicks. He uses his legs, his feet, his knees, and then bro puts fire behind it. Woo! Like in this fight versus a dude named Rekka, he looks so tough. Side note, fuck Rekka. I low forgot what he did because I haven't watched Fire Force in Mad Long, but I know he's a bastard, so fuck Rekka. In the fight, though, he was low cooking Shinra at first. And bro made the vast mistake of punching Shinra right into some tatas. So, Cap, once he did that, he sealed his fate. Once 
one thing you never want to do in a fight is remind the person you're fighting that girls are watching. You never want to do that because once bro remembers what's going on, once bro remembers he's going outside in front of the hoes, watch that man turn into the greatest fighter you've ever seen in your damn Back. life. Plus the yep. girl was begging bro to win, so that kind of like added on. Shimra started Add squaring up with bro yeah. once again. Bro hit Rekka in the air and was comboing him with the fire feet. Hey! Bro fights with such <laughs> elegance and care and precision and dedication. Boing, boing. Get the dick out your Them bro oh, flew around with oh, this fire and yeah, scoped yeah. the scenery out. Drop down and healed bro to the forehead with a smile. Hey! Nah, that smile was no tick. He meant to do that. Then that boy Rekka hit the ground and he was done. Bro got smacked in such immaculate fashion. I did enjoy seeing that. Imagine walking down the alleyway at night and Shimmer's looking at you like this. The next cold fighter we're gonna indulge in is Levi Ackerman. Now, anyone who's watched Attack on Titan knows exactly what I'm talking about. First off, he's the best soldier in that show. He's like 1998 Michael Jordan. No soldier in that show is touching him when it comes to using ODM gear, except maybe Mikasa. Mikasa tough too. But no one can do what Levi does for real. One time, bro was getting chased by multiple people in his old master. When Levi was younger, his master named Kenny was teaching him how to survive. Now he's trying to teach him how to meet the law. It was all trying to jump Levi. Damn. Unfortunately for them, though, unless you're someone else from a whole different verse, you are not touching Levi. So all of them were jumping him, but he was ducking and diving through everything they was throwing at him. He was diving under carriages. He was dodging rockets, bullets. Who was him? Levi was doing all of that while moving mad fast. I have no idea how he knew what was going on. Then bro just <laughs> casually slid into a bar looking all cool and easy. After that, I have no idea what happened after that. I haven't watched the show in mad long. But you see what I mean though, bro is cold. A better example of Levi's coldness where he was actually fighting though is him versus the Beast Titan. Now this right here is the Beast Titan. Donis Anik, Long Anik, Victor Webb and Yama Belt Anik. Now the Beast Titan is not something to mess around with. That's a big boy and he's strong as you can tell just look at him to give an example of bro's strength bro took a rock split it in half with his bare hands hitched it like he was i don't even know and then decimated right. the whole town and half an army no cap bro should stop killing people and should go play quarterback or pitcher or goalkeeper long at arms anyway though at some point <laughs> levi said enough was enough he pulled up on bro mad viciously cut his arm off Crazy. cut his eyes off cut his activities off Everything. kevin durant some titans have a person inside the titan controlling the titan they're located in the back of the neck so you want to know what levi did he cut open the back of the neck took out bro who was controlling the beast titan and put the sword in his mouth yeah. levi was like oh yeah you goofy bastard and just like that <laughs> zeke yeager aka the beast titan was packed up by levi the grace and precision in which levi took down the beast titan was cold and bro did all that with blood on his forehead probably in his eyes too w performance by levi i rest my case honestly i could have just said levi explained no further and went to the next person and yeah. it would have been valid because we all know for real. But exactly. last up, the fighter we're gonna talk about is Toji. Now, oh, Toji man. lives in the verse where every strong person in that show has cursed energy, aka magic, if you don't watch it, JK. All the That's strong people up. in that Please show up. have cursed energy, except him and Maki, but she's like later on. But even though Toji has no cursed energy, even though bro isn't the honored one, he still has his LeBron James athleticism. And because of that, bro is folding damn near everyone <laughs> in that show. And bro looks cold while doing it. When bro was fighting the nah, I'd win, dude. Toji was putting in <laughs> mad work, moving mad fast with that disgusting slug on his neck. The way bro snuck behind Gojo without him noticing was pretty cold as well. And he ended bro so viciously, nigga, relax. Damn. Right after Toji pulled up on Gato, sliced him up, had bro looking like Luffy, also looking cold. <laughs> then he kicked bro in the face, and just like that, he clapped two strong sorcerers in one day with no curse energy. Then he died. But then bro came back to life, kind of, not really, but kind of. Stole some red nunchucks and started beefing with the fat head red squid man. He fought bro with so much aggression, but calmness too. That boy doggone was getting cooked. He was Damn. not ready. Random thought, but Sanji could make a tough dish with this nigga. Anyway, though, with so much joke. <laughs> it's funny he mentioned that because CJ said that the same thing with this guy as well. With the same fish character. <laughs> make him for good food. <laughs> 
Two great minds think alike, man. And bro came back to life, kind of, not really, but kind of. Stole some red dumb chucks and started beefing with the fat head red squid man. He fought, bro, with so much aggression, but calmness. Too. That boy doggone was getting cooked. He was not ready. Random thought, but Sanji could make a tough dish with this nigga. And he would go with so much joy in bro's face. Toji ended doggone, and that was Why? it. Might I say again, he did all that with no curse energy. He's so cold. Ah, Austin, I like him, but it's okay, because Austin's still tough. Not cold, though, but he's tough. Okay. Oh, yeah. Koji was also beating the goofy out of his son. But, yeah, no. Koji is one of anime's coldest fighters. Zoro, Shinra, Levi, yeah. Toji, and Usa. Follow what? my Twitter, follow my Mr. Instagram, Usa? join my Discord, drink some uh. lemonade, and subscribe. And that be Yvie. That's a lot of talk, hey, bitch. Bring your racks out. Went to Brazil, chilling with a supermodel. Usopp, the god, the god, the, the god, we know about him, but more, the coldest, I wouldn't say all that. I see you show respect to Usopp, I get it, man, but these other dudes, yeah, I see why you said that the coldest fighters in anime, especially Levi, we know he's the GOAT, man. Anybody watched Attack on Time, you know Levi don't miss, bro. Shout out to Bucket Hat Splash, this was pretty dope, man. Um, We already know about Zoro too, man, but this was dope. This was dope. Um, make sure y'all follow Bucket Hat Splash, man. He got great content. More coming. That was my reaction to the coldest fighters in anime, man. Y'all know I love my anime as much as I love hip-hop music. Um, before I end this, thank y'all so much for supporting the channel. Appreciate it, man. Hope everybody has a blessed day ahead. I'm out. One love.